word world, it's Louis Dogs, Vinny Paz, Philly is in the fucking building, y'all know who I'm with, dumbout.net, knocking motherfuckers out all day, every day, Brah! Matter of fact, y'all should give me a weekly show on your website. <laughs> hey, we want to have, we want to have Paz's picks, man, yeah, for every look, fight coming out, Yo, man. look, man, I literally will send y'all a video, we have an office oh, with editing shit, All right. I'll, I'll record it and send it to y'all, it'll be an honor. Awesome. It'll be an honor. Dog, literally, I turned down rap interviews, and when you hit me and you said it was about boxing, I was like, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. I don't want to talk, you know what I mean? Like, rap is, I love it. It's what I do, but I'd rather sit with y'all, drink a beer, and talk fights all night. Right, right. See, I, uh, I remember the first time he told me about Jedi Mindset. He's a scoper, I gotta give him the credit. He goes, man, you gotta hear this Jedi Mind Trick somebody. He's like, oh, they're out of Philly. Dude, Vinny Paz. I'm like, Vinny Paz? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, the best thing, Paz, where you at? I love you, nigga. But listen, Paz tells me when he's out at the bar and introduces himself as Vinny Paz, he'll be like, the rapper? And he's like, no, the boxer. Like, he's getting, he's getting mixed up with me. So that's why I put, I don't know if y'all see my DVD, but I put the whole bar with me and Paz in there. Yeah. Because that's my brother, man. I love him. And he he's the, you know, people like Paz, uh, Jake LaMotta, um, Arturo Gatti, that's the mark of a real champion. Yes, they might have six, seven, eight losses, but they never duck people. Mayweather's perfect record, dog. I'm like, it's a perfect record because you never fought the best that were as big as you. You know what I mean? Right. Why didn't he fight De La Hoya in 99? Right. You know what I'm saying? Why didn't he Why didn't he fight Ricky Haddon at 140? Why didn't he drop? I said why the same he... thing about Jones, man, ducking Mikulszewski. Then, look, Darius Mikulszewski had been ducked for so many years. He finally fought when he was an old man. Exactly, and then, and then, and then, and look, look, look at everything he did. Look at everything he did. Like even with Roy, like when he fought James Tony with like a, a busted rotator cut, right, right. and Tony was still in the fight. Like when I look at the last twenty years, James Tony's the best. There you go. James <laughs> Tony <laughs> is so fucking G. He never ducked no one. He, he fought. Never. He knocked Michael Nunn out at what? One fifty-four, one sixty. Yeah. Fought his highest heavyweight and whooped people's asses. If it wasn't for the fact that he's a big fat pig and he likes to eat like me, right. I'm the thing. same way. Dog, I made 168 when I, I was amateur. He's but... so underrated. People will not know how good he was until years from now. And only the boxing man. nerds know how good he is. Right. All that, all this shit that Floyd does, that was all James Tony right. 20 years ago. All this little dip and dab and pop and roll, all that shit was innovated by James Tony. James Tony will come in out of shape and beat a real dude. Right. Like who, he's come in a fat pig and beaten a real dude. Sure. Being a beat Holyfield with a gut like mine. Yeah. I was, I was there, at like, that place too. Yeah, yeah. It's it's amazing. You know what I mean? It's 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 very weird, man. Like that, who people cling to. You know what I'm saying? And, and how much it's become hype as opposed to when we were kids and it was like. Yo, Marvin Hagler didn't talk. He just beat right. everyone's ass. Right. They Hagler robbed him against Sugar Ray Leonard, and he would have been undefeated. Right, right. But it's like nowadays, it's like who talks to Mud? Everyone hates Mayweather. Right. So he generates pay per view sales. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm from Philly, dog. Home of Bernard Hopkins, the home of fucking Joe Frazier. I'm from the home of Rocky Balboa. Right. Fake or not fake. I'm from the home of fighters where the gym wars are more vicious than the shit you see right. on ESPN versus That's Showtime or HBO. That. That's why I think the people from uh, Detroit really identify with people from Philadelphia because even the gym wars, like you go to the old crime, there are guys that never made out of there that, that, that got dumped out from the fucking gym wars. Oh, no, Same I, thing I've, with seen, I've seen interviews with Emmanuel Stewart with Hitman Hearns, with people who came out of Kronk that were like, right. yo, these dudes were amazing, but they would beat the snot out of each other seven days a week for right. 20 rounds. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? You know yeah, that yeah. saying, like, they left it all in the gym? Right. A lot of those dudes left it all in the gym. Yeah. I can say the same for Philly. Like, I don't know if you guys are familiar. He's got a horrible record. Rogers Matagua. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he leaves it all in the gym. That kid could have been a monster. Right. He's like 18 and 16 or something, yeah. and has turned into a club fighter. There's a lot of Philly dudes, a lot of Detroit dudes, 
who just have such pride that they're like, I'm not gonna lose in the fucking gym. Right. So they stay in there and bang. Right. Instead of just, you know what I mean? Like instead of just like, yo, technically, uh, you know, I throw to the body or I, you know, I hold back from the head. Right. They're like, come on. Yeah. I mean, there's Philly gym wars where people have been like, yo, like Bernard destroyed blah 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 or. Blah blah blah, destroyed blah 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 in a training camp. Like there's so many stories where we're like, yo, he got his ass in the gym. Right. You know what I mean? But no one will ever hear those. So, uh, meanest man alive. Yes. MMA. What do you think about MMA? <laughs> it's an awkward question for me because my buddy Mac Danzig. Right, right. I heard him came out to AOT. Yeah, he he won the number six season of the Ultimate Fighter. He's a, a former champion, probably one of the greatest guys I've ever met, and one of the most knowledgeable boxing people I've ever met. That's why when he's on his feet, he's one of the most vicious in the game. I said, Mac, just turn pro. Right. He makes 155 in UFC. I said, go down one pound to 154, right. and the division's yours. I say it to him, you know what I mean? He's like, ah, you know, I just got to make money, and the money's UFC. I think it's a fad. I don't... I think there's something a little bit gay about guys in their underwear rolling around on the floor for three rounds. I know that's gonna get everyone mad and everyone's gonna go, blah, 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 it's a badass. Look, I didn't say people aren't badasses, but a badass to me stands on his fucking hands and throws fucking hands. That rolling around with your balls in my face and shit, I, I'm not with that. You know what I mean? There's some bad motherfuckers, dog, with some heavy hands. I see some vicious shit. So I'm not like writing it off or anything. I'm just saying, dog, boxing has been around since the 1800s. Yeah. And there will be people like us who will never let it die. There's diehard UFC people who try to preach to me, and I'm like, dog, in five years, another crop of boxing kids will be back who will resurrect it again. There will always, uh, uh, we're just waiting for the next Tyson, the next De La Hoya, the next Sugar Ray, and all these young kids that are coming up. Who, who, you know, you look at Yuri Orcas Gamboa right, and all right. these Cuban kids. Yeah, right? Juan Manuel uh, Lopez. Yeah, Juan Ma Lopez oh, is just icing everyone that steps into the ring yeah. with him. I was at Juan Ma Lopez, uh, Daniel Ponce de Leon. Oh, yeah. It was the undercard of, a, uh, undercard of a pa Kelly Pavlik fight. Yeah, fight. yeah, and me too. I'm like, oh, they're just going to bang. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, Juan Ma might not have a chance. He just fucking ices something. And I'm like, yo, son is a fucking problem. So like, he, all right, he may be the new Trinidad. Who's the next Mexican motherfucker? I don't know who's coming, you know what I mean? Look at all these big wins that people had, like Kermit Cintron beating Angulo. Everyone thought Angulo was gonna win. I was shocked. So was I, and, 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 and Cintron's from Pennsylvania. But I'm like, he's lazy, his training, this, that, but guess what? He fucking went out there and won. If all these people win and fight each other, Pavlik fighting Williams, amazing. Amazing that they would both sign that. Right. Because they're both real men. Uh, right. The art of real men, like, died with, like, our our parents and look, grandparents. Look at, look at the cities they're from, though, man. Like, post-industrial shit. Like, they're young son of Ohio, man. It's just like a ghost town. Man. Absolutely. Like, it's, you got, you got uh, D.C., man. D.C.'s been fucked up for years. For years. It's, 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 it's like fucking, fucking Vietnam, yeah. bro. But that's what I mean. Like, both of those dudes can't get real fights. Yeah. So they're like, guess we'll fight each other then. Exactly. And it's NAC, and I'm going to fucking be there. And I'm going to be like, yo. These fucking dudes decided to fight each other. Look, I look at when people say, what's up with Mayweather? What's up with Mayweather? I say, why don't you ask up what's up with Marquez? Right. He's the one who's got heart. Right. He's the fucking little man who's like, yo, I still might, you know what I mean? Be able to fucking piece this dude up. Because right. this dude's not used to aggression or used to fast hands or used to getting hit. And he's going to keep coming forward. I mean, look at Pacquiao, man. I thought Juan Manuel Marquez won both fights with Pacquiao. So... I'm just saying, that's an opinion. I'm not asking everyone to agree. Maybe he won one, maybe he won both, maybe he the lost. Second one, but they were both sure. like this. Yeah. They were both like this. Marquez is what, 36 now? Five weight classes past him? That's who Floyd's gonna fight. Right. He's a bitch. I don't have any problem saying that. If I see him in Vegas, I'll tell him he's a bitch. Right. I don't get you a bitch. Uh, you're, you're like a certified bitch. Don't no, you don't fight no one. They offered him eight mil to fight Margarito and two mil to fight Gotti, and he fought Gotti.